सो हाई गाइज दिस पुनीत एंड वी आर हियर इन द फिफ्थ क्लास ऑफ डाटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम गाइज सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ई आर डायग्राम्स एंड इट वॉज नॉट कंप्लीटेड सो लेट्स ग्रेब इट आउट लाइक वॉट आर रिमेनिंग थिंग्स इन ई आर डायग्राम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंटिटी टाइप्स एंड एंटिटी सेट्स so what are entity types and entity sets a database usually contain groups of entities that are similar for example a company employing hundreds of employees may want to store similar information concerning each of the employees these employee entities uh, sorry these employees entity share the same attribute but each entity has its own values for each attribute so basically the attributes are same but the values are different like for example let's say i have a person a right i have a person a he will have some name right he will have some name age gender right address phone number b a person b will also having these attributes right name age gender address and phone number right guys yes the class is just it started now the, uh, we are on the first slide okay so uh, a person a having similar attributes a person b is having similar attributes but the values are different a can have a name like puneet and b can have a name like rohit right the ages can be different right so the attributes the attributes are same but the values of those attributes are different okay you have to understand that each entity will share same attributes each entity will share same attributes but the values of those attributes will create that entity okay okay so an entity type entity type defines a collection or set of entities that have the same attributes each entity type in the database is described by its name and attribute so entity type will become a relation entity type will become a relation guys okay let's say we have a entity uh, entity type employee right there are 500 employees in my company let's say i have 500 employees in my company each will have some like attributes all share like name age gender address phone number employee id and so on so we will create a relation called employee and in that relation i have attributes like name age gender address phone number employee id and so on so these will be the attributes so in this relation i will enter all these 500 entities like because they have same entity type relation that is employee okay so entity type will become our relation or table okay entity type defines a collection of entities that have the same attribute all are having same attributes right means they are of same type they are of same type like they are all employees so we will create a table of that entity okay now the collection of 
all entities of a particular entity type in the database at any point in the time is called a entity set. The entity set is usually referred to using the same name as the entity type. So, entity set basically the data is stored in relation. The data is stored in a relation or table is known as entity type tables. So, uh, there can be like uh, employees and at a particular moment, at a particular instance, I can have like 500 employees or 100 employees, whatever you feel right. So, I have like, uh, let's suppose I have 100 employees guys. So, 100 employees at a instance, that is entity set. That is the entries in that relation. Okay, That will be called entity set. Okay, you have to remember that entity type normally we call a relation, uh, a table name is called entity type and entity set will be the entries present in that relation or table. Okay, okay, let's move ahead guys. Now, common notations used in ER diagram. So, these are some symbols which we use in ER diagram. Entity will be shown with a rectangular box. Weak entity with double edged uh, rectangular box. A relation, a diamond or a rhombus. Okay. Then identifying relationship, basically a double edged rhombus. Then attribute, attribute will be a oval. Key attribute will having a line passing through that oval. Multi-valued attribute will have double edges and composite attribute will be shown like this. Attribute having more attributes, right? Attribute having more attributes, okay? These all can be asked basically. Uh, uh, they, there can be a question like, uh, what is the symbol of a relationship so they will give you four or five symbols basically uh, like the rectangle square rhombus active uh, oval so these can be there so you have to identify the correct symbol for relationship okay guys okay. let's move ahead now here we have an example of a ER diagram of a library management system. A smaller example, not complete, but still. Okay. In this, you can see that these are entity. Right. And this is relationship. Okay, now understand. Okay, a publisher or books published by a publisher, right? Books published by a publisher and a member can borrow book or book borrowed by a member, right? book borrowed by a member and the attributes basically we have attributes like member member can be can have a expiry date a name address member type member date member id right member id is underlined here member id is underlined therefore it is a primary key okay so these are the attributes of member similarly publisher publisher have publisher id address and name right now book book have its own attributes like book id author title price availability and borrow by relation have its own attributes due date return date issue and so on guys okay so that's how uh we can have example right guys so
ओके आई होप दैट इज क्लियर गाइस आई होप दैट इज क्लियर लेट्स मूव अहेड एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट यर डायग्राम ऑफ अ कंपनी डाटा ओके सो नाउ हियर वी हैव लाइक फ्यू एंटिटीज फर्स्ट डिपार्टमेंट प्रोजेक्ट एंड एम्प्लॉय दीज आर एंटिटी दीज आर एंटिटी एंड देर आर रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज ओके नाउ वॉट आर द रिलेशन्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट फर्स्ट लेट्स से एम्प्लॉयज वर्क्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिपार्टमेंट राइट एम्प्लॉय वर्क्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिपार्टमेंट बट इट इज अ मैनी टू वन रिलेशन मैनी एम्प्लॉयज वर्क्स फॉर वन डिपार्टमेंट राइट डिपार्टमेंट विल बी वन एंड देर आर मल्टीपल एम्प्लॉयज ओके देन मैनेजेस एम्प्लॉय मैनेज आर डिपार्टमेंट सो वन एम्प्लॉय विल मैनेज आर वन डिपार्टमेंट राइट वन एम्प्लॉय विल मैनेज वन डिपार्टमेंट सो वन टू वन रिलेशन देन एम्प्लॉय कैन लीड अ प्रोजेक्ट सो वन एम्प्लॉय विल लीड अ प्रोजेक्ट राइट सिंपल basically if uh, a person uh, is leading a project then he will be one two guys cannot lead a single project right so one person will be lead a project and multiple multiple persons works on the project and they can work on multiple project right they can work on multiple project like if there is puneet and he is working on three projects there are rahul he is working on two project right so these kind of combinations can be there like employee can work on multiple projects